You're ready to knit a cute summer top, but you are overwhelmed by all of the pattern possibilities. What are you supposed to do? Ask other knitters, of course, about their favorite patterns for knitting summer tops. That's exactly what I did, and that's what we're looking at today. Your favorite patterns for summer tops, tanks, and tees. Hey, Nerdy Knitter, Tanya here. I'm a certified knitting instructor and a master hand knitter, and the goal here at Nerdy Knitting is to help you become a more confident, adventurous knitter. You can do that by knitting tops, that's for sure. When you knit summer tops for yourself that fit you well, you're confident about your skills and about the great clothes that you're creating for yourself. But there are so many patterns out there and some are great, some might not be so great. So the best thing to do is ask other knitters what they've been knitting and that's what I've done. I asked about your favorite knitting patterns and I threw a few of my own in. Not that I've actually knit them, but I've got my eye on them because they look like they could be really fun and interesting to knit. So we're gonna look at those patterns and I think summer tops are great because, I mean, you're usually using plant fibers, cotton, linen, things like that. You can often find them fairly inexpensively compared to other fibers. They're breathable, they're easy to care for. Most often you're gonna be able to throw them in the washer and the dryer, so they're easier to care for than your wool sweaters that you have to be very careful with. So I just think they're a great sort of starter pattern. A summer top, you're not knitting full sleeves usually. You might have like short short sleeves or a tank top or a crop top, so they're, there's less fabric to create sometimes as well. So there's lots of potential positives about knitting summer tops. So we're going to look at some of your favorite patterns and a few of my own. So let's get started. Our first recommendation comes from Tracy. She recommends Laya by Isabel Kramer. I've knit uh, at least one of Isabel Kramer's patterns and they really are great patterns. So this one is a circular yoke construction. It's worked from the top down. So you're starting up here at the neckline and working that pretty lace pattern and then you separate for the sleeves and the body and you knit the body and then you come back and finish the sleeves. There's a bit of ribbing at the sleeve cuffs and the bottom. Now this one does use some short rows for the back neck, neck shaping, so sort of a step up for beginners, but it's just a really cute, very fairly simple I believe. I mean the lace does not look like anything super complicated and there is a long sleeve version too. You can see right there. Oh, and that pretty hand dyed yarn. Now this one comes in nine different sizes. It uses fingering weight yarn and it is $6.95 US. You can also find it on Ravelry. I've linked to Lovecraft. So I like to give you a few different options. So, but you can find it on Ravelry if you're over there. So great little summer top, the short sleeve version, of course. Next is the Tolsta Tea by Rebecca Klo. Now, if you follow other podcasters on YouTube, then that would be the Crea Bea podcast. Now, we've had a few people recommend this one. Tracy recommended this one as well. And then Emily also loves this Tolsta Tea. And it's really a great blank canvas pattern. So this one is a top-down raglan style. You can see right there on this one, you can see the lines right there for the raglan shaping. So you're starting the top, you're casting on your neck right here, this simple ribbing, and then you start working the, the front and the back and the shoulders and the sleeves, increasing at four points along the sides right there to get that, that yoke shape in this raglan shape in particular. And then when it's the depth you need, you separate those sleeves and the front and the back like you do for a yoke sweater and you start working the sweater in the round and then you come back and finish off the sleeve. So this one has that little one by one rib, plain stockinette, but as you can see looking at all of these pictures, she's done one in stripes here and this one has some pretty eyelets all over it, acting as stripes as well. So a bit of texture, just a plain solid color. And this one has embroidered daisies on it. That's really cute. And a wide stripe version. So you can see how one simple pattern, you can really create lots of different designs. So these are some of the ways she's using one simple pattern to really play with lots of different textures and colors, really great pattern highly recommended by a lot of people now this one has 10 sizes it uses a DK weight yarn and the price is seven British pounds so you can convert that to whatever money you're wherever you live now Lori's recommendation is the uptown tee by Tori Yu she really likes the lacy sleeves on this one so this is also a top-down raglan so you're starting at the neckline here and then working the body front and back and the sleeves. And of course, it looks like it's also done in the round because we've got 
Like if we had a v-neck or some other neckline shaping, you would probably work flat until the shape of the neckline is done and then you join, but where it's just a sort of crew neck, then it's probably just cast on everything right away. But the difference between this one and the previous one is we've got this lace mesh on the sleeves. So it's just a lovely simple pattern, sort of a cropped length, but that would be easy to adjust. And if we look closely, we can see that the edges are finished with a bit of eye cord. Looks like some eye cord maybe here on the neck or just a simple cast on, I can't quite tell there. But just very simple, lovely little pattern. You can see the raglan lines very well right here on this version or this picture. Yeah, it looks like it's just a cast on edge right there. But I like when it's just very neatly finished like that. Very simple, there's nothing really taking away from this very just simple design. Just these little finishing touches. This one comes in nine sizes, uses a fingering weight yarn, and it costs $8.50 US. This is another recommendation from Lori, the Mount Pleasant Tee by Megan Nodecker. She says she always get compliments when she wears this one. So this one, a very cute cropped top, but I think it would probably be easy to lengthen the body if you don't like a cropped body. But this one is worked from the bottom up in the round. So you're starting with that lace down there on the bottom. If you look down here, you can see we've got this really pretty scalloped edge. So you're starting here working that lace and then you're working the body. Now this one has a drop shoulder construction where they're sort of just the, the drop shoulder shaping is actually acting as your sleeve. So you're not picking up stitches for a sleeve here. Looks like you are picking up stitches just to do, finish off that armhole with a little bit of rib. And then the neckline has a little bit of rib as well. But you're not actually picking up stitches to knit sleeves. You're just finishing off. So that's really fun with a drop shoulder shape for a summer top is the... Depending on how, like, how much ease the garment has or how wide it is on your body, that can create the length of the sleeve itself. So you can end up with like a little cap sleeve or a longer sleeve depending on how wide that drop shoulder is. So if you're working this in the round or if you're working this bottom up in the round, you'd work that lace and then you get to the armholes and you separate. You're going to work the front and the back separately and then join them at the shoulders. I think this one uses a three needle bind off. So you've got that pretty lace along the edge, but simple stockinette for the rest, a bit of one by one ribbing for the neckline and the sleeve. So this one comes in nine sizes. It uses fingering weight yarn and it's 840 US. You'll also find this one on Ravelry as well. I really like drop shoulders for summer tops. It's just a great way to get that little cap sleeve without actually having to knit sleeves. Now this recommendation comes from Always Yarn First on Instagram, the Rocket Tee from Tannis Fiber Arts. Now here we finally have a V-neck. Up to now, I think we've just had crew neck shaping. So now we've got a V-neck in this design. So this one's also worked uh, top down. So you're gonna work flat first. You'll, you'll cast on and you'll be working the front and the back, but you'll be working like the front sides separately because of that neckline shaping. And then when the V-neck is finished, that's when you join to work in the round. And you'd finish until you get to your armhole depth and then you would separate the sleeves from the body, work the body and then work the sleeve. So this one also has those raglan lines there. But we have fun stripes here and these stripes are created by using two different yarns. You, they're using a solid color fingering weight yarn and then that's alternated with just a mohair yarn that's probably like a lace weight I'm imagining and you get like this really subtle striping effect. So very cute summer top, especially I like v-necks. That's one of my preferred neckline shapes. So I like that and it looks like it's finished with a bit of eye cord around the neckline and the armhole. And we're using yarn overs here for the raglan shaping so you get like that lacy effect. And it looks like that's worked, something like that has worked along the sides as well to continue that design feature. So this one comes in 11 sizes, uses fingering weight yarn, and it is $10 Canadian. And you'll also find this one on Ravelry as well. This was another recommendation from Instagram. Peach Mango Tango recommends this summer secret crop from Jessie Made. So if you like crop tops, then this is probably a great pattern for you. Now front and back on this one are worked separately and it's finished with those cute little halter type straps. This is also what I would call like a blank canvas pattern. Like she's using variegated yarn here and here's another variegated yarn. Here's a solid yarn. Okay, we can really see the construction here. So we've got some rib on the bottom. So we're working these pieces separately, I believe. 
and then we've got these straps here. It looks like maybe, is it I-cord perhaps? Well, let me go in on that one. Yeah, it looks like it's I-cord I -cord up here that is used and I guess front and back will work separately and you just tie them at the top. So a very cute little summer style top. This one comes in 10 sizes, fingering weight yarn, and I imagine depending even, well, on the size as well, but it's not gonna take that much yarn because you're not working sleeves too. So just a very cute little summer top. Lots of great ways to make this fun. So we've got some stripes here. So this one doesn't have the tie on the sleeve, so perhaps there's two different options for that as well. So very cute little pattern. And this one is free, so definitely worth checking out. 10 sizes, fingering weight yarn, more of a blank canvas. Definitely worth consideration if you like little crop tops. So all of those are patterns that you've recommended, and the next few are ones that I found that I've sort of put on a list that I might like to knit. A few of them are from designers that I've worked on other patterns of theirs, and I really like the way they write patterns, and I like their design aesthetic. So they're sort of on my list, and then a few other ones as well. Uh, they're not actually anything that I've, I've actually knit. I'm gonna talk about that in another video. I'll link it at the end where I share about my favorite summer tops that I've knit and I wear every summer. So these are just that caveat that I haven't actually knit these, but I like the design and they are worth checking out. So this first one is the Moonset Tea by Ozetta. Now this one I ran across on Reddit. Uh, I was on a knitting subreddit and somebody was asking about favorite summer tops and somebody mentioned this one and I clicked through and I checked it out and I really liked it because, well, I really like V-neck shaping on my tees or a lot of my tops actually. And I really liked the neckline on this one, how it's sort of joined and crossed in the front. I really like that slight, just subtle detail. And then the, it's just plain stockinette. There's nothing really particularly like far-fetched or really out there with this pattern. It's just a very simple uh, drop shoulder design. You're picking up stitches for the sleeves. The sleeves are finished with just a little bit of I-cord. It's just very simple, which I like and I appreciate in a summer top because if you knit this in a really lovely yarn, I think the original yarn is a silk yarn, then you've got like, it's sort of a dressier style summer top but just a very, very simple, subtle details. I really appreciate that in a good design. So this is like an upscale, like classic style t-shirt, especially if you're working with something like a silk yarn. So this one is knit top down. So you're working flat first uh, along the shoulders here and that neckline. And then it's joined to work in the round and you're working the body in the round to the hem. And then you're picking up the sleeve stitches and working those afterwards. And then those clean, simple finishes. So this one comes in nine sizes. It uses fingering weight yarn. It's $6.50 US. You'll also find it on Ravelry. Then we have Summer Sorrel by Wool and Pine. And I just love like the faded effect that she uses on this one right here. I think this would be a great way to use some variegated hand dyed yarns. Or I just, it just looks so pretty to me. Just like a little fairy garden style top. I don't know, there's something about it. So this is worked top down, circular yoke construction. So you don't have like those raglan lines right here. The increasers are sort of dispersed in between these uh, slip stitches probably. And the body's worked in reverse stockinette, but what, what you're actually doing is working the garment with the wrong side facing you. So you are just knitting it and then you're turning it uh, basically, well, the wrong side is going to be the right side. So you get that reverse stockinette, but you're not purling the whole garment. You're gonna knit it instead and then turn it right side out. And it's got this lovely slip stitch design here and just some simple rib along the sleeves and the hem. And I just think that reverse stockinette is one of those textures that's really great for playing with hand dyed yarns and variegated yarns and fading from one to the other. Like it looks like that's what's been done here. You've got this darker orange down here and it seems to fade out to this color and then some yellow up here. So this one does include some short row shaping at the back neck and it comes in 14 sizes. It uses fingering weight yarn. Oh, that one is really pretty. I like the colors on this. That's like a, a watercolor painting, like a Monet painting. And it's 950 US. Then we have Joni by Natasha Hornby. I'm working on a shawl pattern by Natasha right now and I'm really enjoying it. 
so I thought I would look at her garments and this one she's got a few that I really like and this one I think is perfect for summer I first saw it recommended on the fruity knitting podcast and I loved Andrea knit one on there and it's just very lovely so I popped over and looked at it here and I really like this one it's a very cute little summer sort of vintagey design is what she says it was a vintage inspired it's an interpretation of a vintage lace blouse according to Natasha so this one is worked top down you're casting on at the back shoulders you're working some short row shaping and then you join the shoulders and you work the back to the underarm and then your front shoulder stitches are picked up and you work to the underarm then you join everything in the round and you're working the rest of the body in the round and there's also some short rows along the hem before finishing the neckline and armholes with a bit of garter stitch if we look closely we've got some garter stitch here on the armholes and it looks like garter maybe here at the top and at the bottom now the body is just stocking out with these pearl ridges to create stripes and then this panel of lace in the center so just a lovely little design I really like the original one in this white yarn might be linen just very I like the simple subtle look of it it's very pretty and delicate it's got a delicate feel so this one comes in eight sizes it uses a sport weight yarn and it's about eight euros this last recommendation is Dune Tara by Jennifer Beale I'm working on a design by Jennifer Beale right now that I really like I like sometimes she uses interesting construction or she combines color work and stitch patterns in this one it's actually knit in linen but it's linen with color work which is something you don't really see very often but it just looks so lovely so she's got lace and color work going on using a linen yarn now the construction though is a pretty simple it's just stockinette stitch some looks like very simple lace and then that panel of color work that's worked in linen well the whole thing is worked in linen so this one is worked top down you start with some shoulder shaping and the front and back necklines are different as well so you'll be able to tell the back from the front the sleeves are integrated you can see again it's sort of that drop shoulder design where the the drop of the the shoulder itself creates our little cap sleeve now after you finish the shoulders and the neckline you alternate between sections of lace and stranded color work worked in linen and that's done right to the hem and you're finishing with some lace along the hem and it creates that pretty you can see down here this little scalloped edge it would be easy to sort of like if you like a shorter length you could probably crop this off a little if you wanted but if you wanted sometimes I like you know wearing leggings or something and a longer like a tunic length so you could probably extend this a bit as well depending on how long your sections of color work and lace are and it looks like you're just binding off down here just a very simple bind off along the lace edge and then the top looks like a bit of eye cord right there it doesn't look like there's anything on the sleeves so finishing is very simple as well on this one this one comes in 10 sizes it uses fingering weight linen yarn and it is $12 Canadian so maybe you found at least one new pattern that you'd like to knit for yourself this summer and if you've got other ideas about great tops that are perfect for summer weather I would love to hear about them so please leave a comment sharing your favorite summer tops tanks or tees that you've knit and you love to wear and just tell us about them in the comments and of course you're always welcome to go down and check out those comments to see what other knitters are knitting and if you want to keep hanging out with me I have another video right here about my favorite summer tops the ones that I actually knit for myself patterns I have knit and I wear every summer so click right there and I'll see you in the next video